the IKTV News Update comes to you with the kind compliments of Carb Cable and Harun Bear. Hold your own. I'm Lafern Fraser. Your IKTV News Update will begin after these messages. I'm interested in way too many things. And having Carib Cable's fastest internet connection is the best way to keep up with everything. Facebook? I'm definitely an addict. <laughs> My favorite shows? I just never miss them. Having cable TV? I'm always entertained. I have way too many friends that my cell phone is not enough to keep up with everybody. Carib Cable's fixed line solves all my problems. Carb Cable just made my life way easy. With this triple play payment plan, I get three different services but one bill. Carb Cable, internet, cable, and fixed line. A mentally ill man who was wanted in connection with the rape of a minor on Monday is now in police custody. According to police reports, the Georgetown resident was wanted in connection with the rape of a nine-year-old girl at the Georgetown Government School on Monday morning. According to reports, the young girl was attacked when she went into the school's bathroom at about 10.30 a.m. The man was reportedly shot by police officers in the Chile Village area on Wednesday after he tried to escape when the authorities caught up with him. Members of the local police force are seeking the public's assistance in locating wanted men Delroy Small, Joel Marquis, Roy King and Wilfred Woodley. Vincentians are asked to be vigilant and to contact the nearest police station or call investigators at 451-2467 or 457-1211 extension 264 if any of the men are identified. Police say that all calls will be treated with the strictest of confidence. The men are believed to be armed and dangerous. After seven years on remand, Junior St. Aubin Thomas, a Vincentian who tried to land drugs on Barbados's northeastern coast in January 2005, was released from prison on Tuesday. Thomas, 36, of Edinburgh was in the Barbadian No. 5 Supreme Court on Tuesday, where he admitted that within the island's territorial waters, he imported 102 kilos of cannabis, that he had possession of the drugs, and that he had a trafficable quantity of it on January 21, 2005. However, after spending the equivalent of seven years on remand, he was sentenced to one day in prison and ordered deported. Justice Randall Worrell, who presided, told the drug runner he believed the starting period for the offense should be 10 years. However, the judge said he had considered the level of sophistication and that Thomas's part was minor. Justice Worrell added he had also taken the guilty plea, the fact that no weapon was used, his hitherto clean record and that Thomas had fully cooperated with police into consideration and had reduced the 10 years to 7. Manager of Engineering at the St. Vincent Electricity Services, Vinlec, Dr. Vaughn Lewis, said on Tuesday, Figures indicate that last month our energy contribution from hydropower on mainland St. Vincent was just about 8.17%. This is significant because compared to the same time last year, 28.21% of our electricity was produced by water. Speaking at a press conference held at Vinlex branch at Cane Hall, Dr. Lewis blamed the lack of hydropower on the drought currently being experienced in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Dr. Lewis stressed that at 
Vinlek, they are also seeing the effects in terms of hydro production. And this is important because it affects the fuel surcharge. When there is low hydro production, Vinlek uses more fuel to produce electricity and their fuel surcharge is higher. Don't blame global warming for the drought. Put it down to the El Nino weather system that brings torrential rains to some areas and drought to others. This is the thinking of principal of the Caribbean Institute of, for Meteorology and Hydrology, Dr. David Farrell. The drought that we're having is part of the El Nino cycle, and so it's not a global warming phenomenon, he said on Tuesday. It's more a climate variability phenomenon. He called the present drought a pretty intense El Nino event, the El Nino phenomenon which happens every two or three to seven years occurs when the surface ocean waters of the eastern Pacific are usually warm. But there is also an atmospheric component called the southern oscillation which is characterized by changes in surface pressure in the tropical western Pacific. And now in sports, Darren Sammy starred with the ball on Wednesday as the West Indies had a comprehensive victory by 141 runs over Zimbabwe in the third Digicel One Day International. Bowling on a helpful pitch at the Arnesville Sporting Complex, Sammy said he was determined to destroy the Zimbabwean batting and took career best figures of 4 for 26 off 10 overs. Fast bowler Kamar Roach helped Sami rip through the Zimbabwe batting lineup after Shivnarine Shandapal led the West Indies to 245 for 9 of their allotted 50 overs. Zimbabwe were bowled out for 104 of 31 and a half overs. The West Indies now have a 2 1 lead in the five match digital series. The fourth one day takes place tomorrow. Real Madrid was eliminated from the Champions League in the first knockout round for the sixth year in a row Wednesday after drawing 1-1 against Lyon, sending the French club through 2-1 on aggregate. With a 1-0 deficit from the first leg, Madrid looked determined to score from the start at its Santiago Bonobo Stadium and Cristiano Ronaldo gave the host the lead in the sixth minute. The Portugal winger received a through ball from Jose Maria Guti Gutierrez and shot low from the corner of the penalty area past goalkeeper Hugo Lloris. But Miralem Jalic equalized in the 75th from Lissandro's assist, leaving Madrid needing two more goals to advance, which it never looked likely to get. Nine-time champion Madrid has not reached the quarterfinal since 2004, and with the final to be played in the Bonobo this year, the club was desperate to feature. This has been your IKTV News Update. I'm Laferne Fraser. Thanks for watching. IKTV. IKTV. All about you.